So I was looking around Walmart and I found this new brand. At least I have never seen it before. And it is called Pretty Smart. It is very affordable. I really didn't know anything about it. I was afraid to buy it at Walmart. To begin with, my Walmart didn't have that big of a selection. They only had like uh, that foundation, concealer, a couple of blushes. So I decided to do some research when I got home. I did find that they had a website and it sounded really, really nice once I did a little bit of research. So on the website, I find out that So Why Pretty Smart Founded and developed by a team of pretty smart women with years of industry experience who are on a mission to reimagine luxury makeup with smart proprietary formulas from ingredients we love so you can effortlessly recreate the looks you love and stay within your beauty budget. So um, I looked up a little more about the person that started this. Her name is Marissa and by the way she is the one that is involved with uh, the Balm Cosmetics. She's the one that I don't know if she's the owner but I know that she's a creator of uh, the Bomb Cosmetics which is very underrated but an amazing brand and it says meet Marissa the creative product developer and brains behind Pretty Smart she wants you to have it all quality and value trendy and iconic ingredients she loves are not the ones that really don't belong in your beauty products driven with passion for creating high quality cosmetics and armed with her own development and production facility Pretty Smart delivers USA made beauty from globally sourced ingredients with serious standards. Pretty Smart formulas aren't just affordable, they're high quality on trend and inspired by the Lux stuff. So I went ahead and I ordered a full face and everything on her website is $10 or less. And at Walmart, you only, if you buy it at Walmart, you're only saving two or three cents. Some of it is like you know, $9.97, $6.97, you know how Walmart, so it's only taking like three pennies off the price. So after a certain amount of money uh, that you spend, you do get free shipping. So I just felt like I had more choices. And besides, sometimes it's hard to find products at Walmart that people have not been dipping their fingers into. So if you're interested in seeing what this makeup brand looks like, just keep on watching. So I would place on the screen somewhere how much each product is, you know, valued at or the cost of each product. I wore this yesterday. I wanted to test it out before. I didn't want to do just a first impression. I wanted to see what it wore like. And I put my makeup on around noon and I wore it till around 11.30 that night. And let me tell you, my makeup looked beautiful. The foundation looked absolutely gorgeous. Everything on my face. Now, the eyeshadows are not super pigmented. I would say they are like, uh, like if you used an Estee Lauder or a Clarence, something like that, that gives you a pretty classy look, but it's not going to bring you these, you know, amazing shimmers and there's no glitter. It, I loved it. I thought it was very pretty. It was easy to use. I had no fallout. But anyway, let's start. So I did purchase this uh, Pretty Smart Gold Illuminating Face Drops. This is the Tipsy Owl Gold Drops. And this is beautiful, but I'm not going to put it on because it's very glowy. And again, this is something that you can use under your makeup. Like if you use a matte foundation, this will look really, really pretty. But I found that over the foundation, it just made it way too glowy. So I'm not going to use that today. I did get a primer. And they have different primers. The ones that I got is the triple zero. And it's the Fusing Face Primer. And if you see the packaging, look how cute. It's got little glasses on the bottom. I guess because it says pretty smart. And their packaging is very cute. Um, I think it's very cute. I don't think I brought a mirror. It wasn't that smart of me. That wasn't pretty smart of me. <laughs> I do have one in my purse. My purse is here. So I'm just going to use that. I have my um, MAC powder in my purse. So I'm just going to use the mirror from this. All right. So I'm going to let this sit for a second. Let it um, just absorb into my skin. As you can see, it's, it's not runny. It looks like a little light pink. But it's very pretty. I thought it looked very pretty on the skin. And I don't know whether it made a difference in keeping my makeup on all day, but my makeup was on all day. 
but it, it feels almost like a lotion when you're putting it on but I did feel like it blurred my pores a little bit the finished look was really really pretty and I was very happy with it and this brings 1.08 fluid ounces and like I said I will put all the prices up here let me put on I'm going to use my MAC pink pot as a primer today and this is in painterly I haven't used this in the longest time and this is so good I like to use it also just as a shadow on days that I don't really want to wear any eye makeup but I really have been neglecting it lately okay so now so that my eye primer is on let's go ahead and do the foundation so the foundation it comes in 36 different shades and so does the concealer I got mine in 307 light and it's called the instant chemistry medium coverage foundation and it brings 0 0.08 fluid ounces 32 ml so I'm going to put some on the back of my hand and it is not super thick it is not super runny but this is a beautiful finish and it really does look pretty on the skin so I'm going to it doesn't have a scent it smells like makeup um, it, it's not perfumey but it does smell like makeup but I guess that would be unscented <laughs> but it's not horrible it's, it is not an obnoxious super strong makeup scent it just has like a little bit of that makeup -y scent. I'm going to take what's left on the back of my hand and pounce it where I have my hyperpigmentation. You know, I was thinking the other day, I was complaining about my hyperpigmentation, but then I said, well, you have the perfect skin to show how much coverage a foundation has. Because if somebody's showing you a foundation on perfect skin, you really can't tell, can you? Like sometimes I, you know, I see some creators put it on but they have beautiful skin lucky them i mean i'm not saying that you know there's anything wrong i think they're blessed but you really can't see how much a foundation covers because i mean they really don't have much to cover so as you can see this one does a pretty good job of covering my hyperpigmentation um, it was easy to blend and it is not matte but it's not super glowy either but you do have a little bit of a glow so again, the concealer is in Conceal and Appeal Concealer, and I have it in 203 Light Neutral. And they do have 36 shades also of the concealer. And I really don't know why I put that much, but we'll go with it. I'm going to use the same brush. So today's Monday, and I'm trying to film a few extra videos because I have surgery on Wednesday my eye surgery and um, I confirmed I can use uh, skincare as long as I don't get it near my eyes and no mascara or eyeliner which I know wear eyeliner for a week okay so I also got some I don't know why why do I keep closing this when I that's my mirror so I feel like this has pretty good coverage. I would say that it has a medium to full coverage. You can probably build it a little more. I'm comfortable with the coverage that it has. Now I have trust issues with powders for under my eyes. So I'm going to use my Pat McGrath. Um, I like the powder that this has, but I'm not sure it's going to look nice under my eyes. I don't want to take any chances. So yeah, I have trust issues when it comes to powders for under my eyes. I'm, look, I hit so much pan, and when this one's gone, I'm going to get the light pink one. It's very baby pink. Very, very light. I think it would be nice for under the eyes. All right, so I did, they do have some cream blushes, and I got three of them. I wore this one yesterday, which is very light. This one is in the shade Inspire. It's very pretty, and if you're very light complected, it will probably look beautiful on you, but it is very, very pretty and it is light on me though this one is in the shade trust i love the name of the products too this one right here and i'm going to blend them out in a second and then the last one i got a peachy one it's called virgin 03. 
So I got, let me see by the numbers, oh, oh, 047, 046, and 043, I'm sorry, not 03. So that is what that looks like. So let me uh, blend them in for you. Now they do stay a little bit balmy on your face for a little while, and then it kind of sinks in. But it's really, really pretty. And I also have some powder blushes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a liquid on one side and a powder on the other so that you can see what they look like. So the first thing I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use their liquid bronzer and this is called Cut and Contour 048 Cool Contour. But I use it more like a bronzer, but it is a pretty shade. I actually like this better than my, what is it, Makeup by Mario that I just bought that is, I'm so disappointed in it. The new product that he bought, that he uh, launched. That was our biggest waste of time and money and this is very they do have um i believe one darker shade and um it's very easy to blend your face doesn't look dirty it looks really pretty it just sinks into your skin i like it very much you guys know that I like it subtle. I don't like it, you know, really to look very dark on my face. Make sure that this is blended. Okay, then I'm going to use the shade, this one, which is a little darker, the one that is Trust. And I'm going to use that on this side. I tried one this week that was very pigmented. I'm like, Ugh. no, this one's okay. Like which one was oh the l'oreal one oh l'oreal has a new one that is very like very pigmented i have so much makeup to share with you guys it's very pretty and i'm not going to build it up so well i'll build it up a little more so you guys can see but i want my face to match later so i may add a little bit of the powder one on but this is beautiful this looks really pretty it doesn't accentuate any kind of you know, if you have, my pores are there, they're going to show, but they don't look like super glowy or in my face. So I think it looks pretty. I think that's very pretty. It just sinks into your skin. Again, everything is unscented. On this side, I'm going to use, I think this, one, I have two of them. I have, this one is 36 Extra Pretty, which is this one right here. They don't have mirrors. They have this little plastic thing, which is not my favorite. I would almost rather the whole thing not to have a plastic and it is magnetic, but it's okay. And then this one is number 39. Oh, this one is goddess, They're all extra pretty. And this one is orbit. The one that I show you is orbit and this one is goddess. So this one is orbit, this one is goddess. I think I'm gonna use goddess because to me it's closer to the one that I'm wearing. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the powder bronzer over this one so you guys can see it. I shouldn't have put bronzer on this side, but I already stuck my nail in it. And this one is in 50, they'll tack free, and it's Hermosa. And everything is talk free, I believe. Talk free, press blush. So anyways, I'm gonna use this brush right here just grab a little bit of the bronzer and I'll put it over the other one because I should have been smart and not put bronzer on this side. It's very pretty though. I used it yesterday. I actually used it to set the bronzer and it's, it's very pretty. I'm putting it into my compact. Ooh. I should change the name to my, of my channel to the Ditsy Creator. All right, let's go ahead and use Goddess, which is the lighter one of the two. I don't want any, I'll use this one because I don't want anything like super big. Isn't that pretty? I like that. It is matte, but it's not like chalky. Very pretty. But yesterday I used it because see this one is still a little wet and I really don't like my blush. So I just use like a very little 
just to set the blush. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the bronzer to set the bronzer. I just want my face to match. I'm not going to put any on my forehead. Okay, we do have a highlighter, but we're going to leave that one for the end. So I'm going to powder now. I'm done with all my different uh, cream products. Well, except for the highlighter. That's okay. This is the Photo Blur Perfect Powder, and I have it in light neutral. So it says to lightly use over the areas that shine on your face. So I really didn't put any like over my um, over my blush. Mainly I did it like on my forehead and my T-zone, which is the areas that that get a little shiny. But this is what it looks like, and all the products come like the same way with a little window thing, and they do have different shades in this. All right, so that looks nice. So I do have a setting spray. I'm gonna use a little bit of that now. This is the over and under priming and setting spray. And I believe they have more than one. And this is what the spray looks like. It's not bad, but it's not, you, I would suggest that you, if you put it far away from you, it's fine. If you put it close to you, I think it's gonna be like a little too much. But it doesn't really have a scent like very very minimal but i don't think i wouldn't call it perfumey but it's very nice i like it and you can use it under your makeup or over your makeup or in between so i have three different eyeshadow palettes i have this one here this one is called 103 celebrity artist this is what it looks like they're all very neutral very pretty then we have this was the one i wore yesterday it was really beautiful and then this last one is called, this is 104. So this one is 104. They only, there's only three. That's 104. Let me hold them all up. It's 103. The middle is, uh, no, I'm sorry. This one is 102. The middle is 103. And this one is 104. So I think today, I want to use a 104 this one I have like my shirt has a little bit of pink so I think the purple will look nice so this one has three mattes and one shimmer so we're going to start with this color right here I'm going to do one eye and then I'll do the other one off camera just to keep the video shorter okay then I'm going to go with the toppy one right underneath that one and on the inner, I mean, on the outer. Okay, then I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna get a smaller brush and I'm gonna go with the purple. These have, like I say, no fallout whatsoever, which I absolutely love. And I don't mind, I'm the type of person that doesn't mind having to build my shadow. I'd rather build it than put too much on and then not knowing what to do with it. Okay, so I think that's pretty. And then I'm going to take the, the shimmer. And I like to take it on my pinky because my pinky is smaller and I can be a little more precise on my lid. If I use my ring finger, and I'm gentle with my pinky. If I use my ring finger, as it is, I get too much. <laughs> so let me get a clean brush. And then I'm going to take the one that I used with the purple. I'm going to use a little more purple. I just want to clean up where I put too much shimmer. I'm going to take a clean brush and use the first shadow that I used. And just go over the edge. I kind of lost that with the purple. I'm going to take a small brush and go over the shimmer just to be a little more precise here at the in the inner corner put a little bit right there okay i'm going to take a pencil brush and take this toppy one the taupe and do it on my lower lash line i don't want to put the purple because sometimes if i put purple under my eyes 
it makes it look like I have like pink eye or red eyes. I can't put my um, the drops that I normally use to whiten my eyes because I'm using medication on my right eyes. All right, so this is what it looks like. Let me do the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the eyes finished. I use the uh, Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara because this is getting old. I don't want to use it up. It's an amazing mascara. I didn't get one from the brand because I wasn't sure. And I have so many mascaras. They have two different ones and I wasn't sure. So I decided to forego the mascara but I'm using this one the wow on the Huda on my top lashes and the MAC extended play giga blush giga black lash mascara so that's what I have on my eyes so this is the palette swatched the one that I'm wearing on my eyes and I feel like you do have to build it up a little bit but you end up with a really nice look and there's absolutely no fallout on this which I think is amazing I didn't see a brow pencil but they did have a brow gel and I got this one in the shade warm medium brown so you guys know that a lot of times I use just brow gel on my brows so this is what I'm going to use today let me make sure that I want to make sure they didn't feel like I had a lot of like moisturizer or something on them so I think they do a good job. This is all I used yesterday. And my brows look fine at the end of the day. Um, I think next time I'm gonna get the dark brown. I think this is like, it has like a little bit of reddish probably because it's warm brown, but I don't think I saw a cool brown. So I think I'm gonna have to settle the next time for a, um, and maybe they did have a cool brown, but I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember too many choices but as far as the hold I like the small brush I think it's really really nice and I think this was like maybe six or seven dollars everything like I said everything the most expensive thing I believe was the eyeshadow palettes but there's nothing over ten I can shape my brows a lot better with a pencil but I do use just brow gel many many times but if I'm trying to make them look more like cousins, I have to use a pencil. <laughs> uh, these are just related, like, you know, distant cousins. But it's nice. It has a nice hold. It doesn't feel crunchy, but I like it. I think it, it was nice. It's just this shade is a little too warm for me. And I, I would like it like a little, like you can see it over here at the end. It looks like a little reddish and I would like it a little darker. For lips, they had a liquid lipstick that I didn't order. I'm not that crazy about lis liquid lipsticks, but they did have lip oils, and um, you see this is the liquid fuel lip oil, and this is in Trustworthy, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. The name of the products kind of remind me of Rare Beauty because they have really pretty names. This is Trustworthy. This one is Loving, number 71. Kind of look a little similar when you look at it on camera, but as you can see, this is this hat, this one, the um, Loving has a little more pink. This one is Loving, this one's Trustworthy. This one has a little more peach. And then I got a Lip Plumper in Mauve, number two. And this is what I wore yesterday and it was beautiful it felt really 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 nice on the lips it did not burn I didn't feel any discomfort whatsoever on my lips but it looked really shiny very pretty um, I can try all of them for you I'm gonna try without lip liners and then I'll decide which one I want this is the loving lip oil It's very light if you put a lip liner on it's gonna look a lot nicer but it feels thin not goopy not sticky it feels very slippery but it feels nice on the lips now the shipping took a little while it took like at least a week 
so that's why it's taking me so long i got it i got everything on saturday and then i'm filming today on monday because i filmed something on saturday but the shipping did take a little bit of time but still and it was i got it for free shipping because i ordered quite a few products but the lip oil does feel nice now this one is trustworthy this is a peachy one i love these shades with a brownish lip liner uh you fill your lips with a lip liner and then put this on top so pretty so i think i'm going to wear the same one i wore yesterday because i really loved it and it lasted a, a, quite a long time all right so i don't have a lip liner to go with that one so i'm going to use this is from uh, abh and it's in the shade raisin and this is a lip plumper again this is in the shade mauve mauve it's very thin and this one smells like vanilla with a little bit of mint but not very strong i don't feel it hurts now, i'm the type of person that doesn't mind when the lip plumper hurts but i don't feel it hurts i feel this has a little more of the minty very little cooling but no pain i don't feel any pain whatsoever but look how pretty that shade is that is gorgeous and that is this one right here i forgot to use the highlighter here it goes that's because i don't wear highlighter all the time so i have a hard time remembering it's very pretty and subtle this is the one that i use my blush with and i just want to make sure that it's they're both mixed again this is in the shade bedtime banter that's what it looks like so i think this is it this is everything that i have um what i like the most i definitely i love the foundation i think the foundation is very very nice i really like the primer but i mean is it something that you have to have no if you have other primers i think you'll be okay without this primer but i liked it i think it did a really nice job i'm going to do a close-up so you guys can see how, my pores are going to be there guys they're not going to go away there's nothing that covers them okay unless i use plaster on my face but it's nice but i don't think it's anything that you, is a need um again this is nice also the uh tipsy owl gold drops it's nice if you want to put it under your makeup but you probably already own something like this so is it a must-have no but i really like the foundation i think the foundation is very very nice i like the packaging i love this type of packaging or like the one from the new elf for traveling it's so easy to travel with these i'd rather take this on a bulky you know um bottle i love the lip plumper the lip oils feel really really nice but i haven't worn them all day to tell you if they last a long time so i have to get back to you on this yeah this i wore all day yesterday i only had to reapply once and like in the center of my lips but it looked really really pretty and at the end of the night of course it was gone because i had dinner and everything else but this is nice i definitely would like this and i wouldn't mind having other shades this is really really nice i like it uh what else did i try the concealer is nice i think it looks nice under my eyes if you're looking for one for a drugstore concealer that is uh doesn't look drying on your eyes that it gives you pretty good coverage i think this is it this is this is a really nice one i love these these are really pretty now unless you're lighter complex your complexion is lighter than mine i wouldn't get the light light one the one that is inspire this is very light and you definitely unless you have you love barely anything on your face you will have to top it off with something else but um this one is pretty the uh trust is very pretty and i think this one's going to be pretty too the virgin but i haven't used these but i like these now like i said they do stay balmy on your face for a while and after like yesterday i powdered one side of my face over and not the other and it did last the one that i had a little bit of powder over it looked lasted a little more but i think i think these look better if you top them with a little bit of something like with a little bit of a powder blush 
And if you're not the type, like I really feel that if I put a liquid foundation or, or a cream foundation on, I don't want to bother having to put a powder over it. That's like defeating the purpose, you, an extra step for me. But am I sorry I have them? No, they're nice. And they're, they're very, you know, affordable. So if you like this kind of product, it does look very hydrating on your face. And it's not super sticky, okay? I don't have really long hair, so I can't tell you if my hair is going to stick to it. The wrong person to say that. But they're nice, but I think they look nicer, again, if you set them. The um, liquid bronzer, I think this looked very pretty on its own. I really did. Yesterday, I only set, I think it was a forehead that I set, but I left the rest of it, but I liked it. I thought it was really, really pretty. I really enjoyed this. It's, um, it's cool but not dirty looking you can build it up i like it i like this it feels very hydrating i like it like i said better than the mario okay what else did i try okay the blushes i think the powder the powder blushes and the bronzer are very pretty i like them the powder is nice it's very thin i think you can, i can probably even use it under my eyes i don't know but you know if you need another powder if you're looking for a drugstore powder i think this was nice my face looked very nice at the end of the day yesterday and i did use it like i did today on the perimeter on my t-zone i liked it the eyeshadows are pretty there was no fallout and i mean the intensity you do have to build it i used this one yesterday and then i used the one with the purple today and they both performed the same way you know my eyes looked perfect last night and i had no fallout and it was a very quick look because i had no problems building it and making it work so i truly truly liked it so i think that's it i think this is a very nice brand and i would say if you're looking for a good drugstore brand affordable this is it i am so glad that there's other affordable drugstore brands because that is becoming a thing of the past. It's hardly anything under $10 anymore. It is so hard to find drugstore makeup, foundations under $10. Everything is like $15 and up anymore. I mean, L'Oreal is like, you know, when I, Revlon the other day, when I repurchased my Revlon foundation, it was $15. It's like, what the heck, man? So anyways, nice nice size nice. i like it the setting spray again if you have a setting spray do you need this it's nice it doesn't leave you greasy it doesn't leave you dry it has a nice sprayer as long as you do it like i said you have to do it from a distance because it ha does have a range look at this it has range <laughs> so i wouldn't do it close up but it's nice it has a very like i said very light scent but it's pleasant and it's not like perfumey it's like a clean scent all right you guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel thank you so so much for watching i hope that you consider subscribing to my channel for those of you that are here with me all the time i so appreciate you thank you thank you so so much i love you and i will see you on my next video bye guys Mwah.